Bispart Test Track SL680. Brakes, suspension, track and noise diagnosis. The SL680 Bispart Test Lane for cars with PC visualization in the integrated BNET environment for a time and cost saving vehicle diagnosis. Installation. Check the pit dimensions before installing the SL680 Bispart test lane. If they satisfy the dimensions that are specified in the planning folder, the roller test bench, the suspension test unit and the side slip tester can be installed. Due to the low construction height of the roller sets of the BD600 series, the height adjustment will make it easy to adapt the unit to existing inspection pits. In order to facilitate the fixing, the roller set should be placed onto the support strips that can be supplied as part of an optional order. After the cables have been looped through, the BD640 roller set will be lowered into its final position, levelled horizontally and fixed with trimming screws. Before assembling the SN680 noise diagnosis test unit, the cables connecting the test bench for the brakes with the chassis test unit will be prepared, while the cover plates and the vibrating plates will be dismantled. Following that, the base units and the frames will also be lowered into the pit so that they fit on the threaded tree rods that have been doweled in there. As an optimal solution, Bispart recommends attaching the units with the vibrating plates firmly on I-profile beams that have been embedded in concrete. Bispart's flexible installation strategy distinguishes itself by the fact that each and any unit of the test equipment is integrated into the system with its field bus connection. Since all motors and sensors are connected by the manufacturer, the installation will be completed when the motor cable has been connected. The pedal force sensor can be added at any time and needs to be plugged in only. The ST600 side slip tester will be laid into the pit bed as the last part of the test track and aligned. After the track sensor has been assembled, it will be connected with the field bus system. Once the base plates of the SN680 noise diagnosis unit have been fixed, the vibrating plates and all covers are installed on the pit. These jobs are completed with the installation of the access ramps. The entire plant will be marked visually as a safety precaution. The assembly of the analogue display is particularly easy. 
The swiveling arm of the display will be mounted on the wall, the display itself will be slipped onto it and the field bus cable will be connected. The main switch box can be installed in any position, preferably in an easily accessible place. The entire plant will be supplied with power from the main switch box, which also houses the service plug for maintenance purposes. The test track will be connected with the PC via a universal serial bus, USB, so that the entire plant is integrated into the entire BNET infrastructure in a most uncomplicated fashion. The software will be installed after the hardware. Depending on the scope of functions required, it's possible to install either individual test benches, test lanes or complete test stations on the PC. If the plant is not equipped with a PC, it's possible to automatically calibrate, install and start the entire test lane with a plug and play function, which will take less than 30 seconds. Operations the test will be started manually by pressing the relevant start button on the remote infrared control or by activating BISPART's super automatic operating system. The latter will run a complete test sequence without any interference on the part of the test engineer. In order to measure the vehicle's tracking stability, the vehicle will be driven over the side slip tester. The toe in or toe out thus established will be indicated on the display and at the PC station and will be allocated to the relevant axle while being saved. As soon as the saving is completed, the next measuring step will be indicated. In order to check the suspension damping, the vehicle will be positioned on the vibrating plate with the help of the yellow access markers. The road grip, as well as the resonance frequency of the wheel suspension of the left and right hand wheels, will be measured one after another. The vehicle will now be moved onto the roller set until it comes to rest on the test rollers. When the test rollers start moving, the engine must run idle. In the case of vehicles with an automatic gearbox, select neutral for the gear lever. A special function of the SL680 test lane. A four-wheel drive will automatically be recognized and measured in counter-rotating direction. Following that, the entire procedure will be repeated for the rear axle and the parking brake. It is irrelevant for the SL680 test lane whether the parking brake acts onto the front or rear axle. The braking force will be measured and established with the help of a high-precision strain gauge sensor. The data will be transmitted in real time to the analog display and the PC station. The braking force acting on the right and left hand wheels as well as optionally the pedal force will be measured. The process unit will evaluate the difference in the braking force between the left and right hand wheel sides. If an axle weight has been entered before the measuring process, the static brake efficiency will be calculated and Displayed. If a weighing system is integrated, this work step will be dropped and the dynamic brake efficiency will also be displayed in real time. The braking test will be completed when the slip control unit reaches the limit. The super automatic operation includes the automatic filing and print function. Available as optional and special accessory for the SL680 test lane, the new pneumatic lift from Bispot, which makes it possible to drive over the roller set during normal workshop operations without causing any problems. If the brakes are to be tested, the lift will automatically lower the vehicle in a gentle way. Once the brake test has been completed, the axle will be lifted again so that the vehicle can be moved off the roller set in a comfortable fashion. Pipelining. Another extension of the B-Net strategy is upgrading the SL680 test lane into a test station where the exhaust gas test can be carried out and the headlights aligned. It all starts off with the inspection and all tests to be carried out will be recorded in the order manager. This may also be imported via the ASA gateway if the relevant order processing system exists. Thanks to the fact that the individual stations are networked, the inspection can be carried out in record time. 
As soon as a vehicle has passed any one of the stations, the next can already be tested thanks to the innovative BISPART technology. The test data thus gained will be collected on the data server and the entire data record can be printed out in the form of a protocol after the inspection has been completed. You may choose from more than 25 languages.